Okay, we're we're back with the rescue case. This is uh, Strawman. Uh, excuse me. IMZ. And we're just clearing now the hex. All this elastic tissue, I'm just trimming that down. And cleaning it up. Okay, we're going to rinse now, thoroughly, and then dry. And you could tell where the prior access was made. Um, I'm just going to lift some more of this tissue up here. So we can get the driver all the way around it. And that whole platform internally is going to come out. So the tissue will immediately collapse in there. So we want to build a, a cylinder, if you will. 
so nothing collapses and we can get a good visual Careful not to go up any higher on the watts because I don't want to create necrosis. This is the insides of papilla. Gently go up against it. How's the anesthetic still holding? Good. It's like microsurgery, it's just going around gently, removing tissue, slowly. Okay. Okay, that's the interface. that tissue tag out. Okay. Alright, maybe just a little bit more on the papilla and then I think we have enough room for our driver to go in there. I want to get a positive seat.
Okay. I'm just going to make sure there are no tissue tags anywhere. So I'll take an explorer. I'm checking for tags. Now we'll ask for some rinsing. Go ahead. the distal. Rinse again. Yes, Gail, due to the circumstances, I'm in the middle of a rescue. I'll have to read the x-rays and call the patient or reschedule. Thank you. Thing to drop down in there, so we're just doing a little extra house cleaning here. Okay, time to put a wrench on it. Okay, so I'll just take off my laser glasses for now. You can leave yours on, patient can leave his on. I'm gonna just zoom in again. There's our wrench. So I've secured the driver, making sure it seats all the way. That's the key. Looks like we've got something coming now. All right, so it's a hex driver. And, uh, Definitely moving this baby out. All right. Success on the getting this to come out. Now the key is to prevent the tissue from collapsing in there. So we have to have something ready to go in there. You can see how it's moved already clockwise. So now it's up. Now what goes in there? A sleeve. There's going to be an IME sleeve. Let's get our parts ready. So we have a lot to pick from. We don't know the length, so once it comes out, we'll know the length. We're all, we're all going to know about these little sleeves, transmucosal sleeves, which are also in there. So a combination of a sleeve and an implant. Uh, this would be the healing abutment. Um, 
and which may be all we need or a combination if you notice the length this is the impression coping which doesn't need a sleeve and then we have those who do need a sleeve for extra length which is this one so this is the extra one for very very deep areas of concern all right so two different types we'll find out which one we're dealing with in a minute can I have that box please okay I have to put a shout out out there for Mr. Mike Peterson, CDT, Peterson Dental Lab. He's the guy that uh, created this driver. Uh, it's kind of a homemade driver, but it works. And uh, we'll keep uh, keep thanking him for everything he's done, f keeping us going here with some interesting design on tools. Here we go time to get that out so we'll switch now to a um, a different driver this one is going to be part of another case that we have so I'm just going to take it out we'll put it right back in same container I'll save that this one takes a hand held socket or a handheld driver handle and this way we can go in and actually unscrew that. And it should come right on out with the driver. And then we'll measure what's there. All right. Let's see if that can be pushed into place like so. And we just reverse it. Let's see how that's twisting out. Let's see if it's the right size. Pushing, turning. Or perhaps because of what's sticking up, it's preventing it from turning. So we'll just take the original driver, push and turn. Cotton pliers are ready. Okay, a lot of threads. Remember, we counted a total of things. So, yeah, you feel the clicking? That means we're ready to go. Once it clicks like that, we can take everything out. And here it comes. Now we can measure this, but there could be a sleeve in there. Let me see if the sleeve is in there. And double checking, there's a lot of debris. Down inside, we can also measure this now. But I'm going to be looking for that sleeve. All right. Otherwise, this is right down onto the implant. We'll investigate this in a little bit. Let's put that aside in a box. Looking down inside, we'll explore with an explorer. Before we do that, we'll pre-soak. TNS solution is great, cleans the threads. My patient's going to let me know if he has any issues. We're okay. Now we're cleaning the threads. Again, this is an old IMZ rescue case. Patient's very young, so we want to keep it going. He'll soon have a crown made, which will join the other crown, central incisor. And uh, we'll get rid of that. I can take a new one. I'm going to rinse that out. We'll go straight in. And there's some black stuff in there. I need to go in there and get that with the Explorer. Or we can send down a periodontal probe, which is a blunt end find out what that is. Oh, it's some kind of a sleeve or plastic material. 
Let's see what that is. Or is it soft tissue? Could be just soft tissue. Endo Explorer. It looks white in color. Being very, very careful not to braid anything. Let's see if it'll come out by spinning it out. Microsuction, yellow tip. N and leave it, uh, don't bend it, just leave it. Let's see if this spins out. It's, it's at the base for a reason, I don't know why. I do want to identify it. I don't know what it is. Okay, got a hold of it. Oh, okay. It's something. I don't know what this is. Let's identify it. It's oh, it's remnants of a earlier plastic IME. That's it. That's the tail end of one. That might have gotten left in there. That's the tail end. Either that or it's the tail end of an impression coping. We'll keep that as evidence. Okay, that's what that is. That's interesting. Yep, that's exactly what that is. It's just the tail end, the tip of a screw, but it's such a fragment, such a small fragment. It was hiding in the base, undetected, in the base of the fixture. We're thoroughly, thoroughly cleaning the screw threads now. These are very important threads. They're the fixture threads. All pristine, don't see any abrasions, no aberrations. They are fully intact. Again, t t we'll just rinse that now. Once again, absolutely no bleeding because we used a laser. Okay, we'll make one more pass now, one more cleaning pass. Just use micro brushes. I now dip. I used to use the technique where we used to use a syringe. I don't do that anymore. Uh, only if it's real super small. Now I've learned just to to take a brush and dip it. Turning it now. We're turning it. You do enough dishes in the kitchen, you'll learn how to clean things, especially baby bottles. <laughs> And clean it with a special brush. All right, now we we'll rinse that out again. Now we're good to go. Oh, a micro suction tip is in order. See some debris on the lip inside. I'll get that in a second. Let's just see before I go in with the tip. Let's see if I can free that up. What is that? Oh, that's a remnant. Oh, it's metal. So that was a little bit of metal flaking off the rim. Good, we'll suck that out. That was metal hanging out there. Tiny bit. I'm not on. Lost power. New tip then. Okay, we still have to look for that sleeve. If it's there, it's there. If it's not there, how do you find it? How do you, you, you take your explorer and you just kind of wiggle a little bit? It might be attached. Or we may leave it. We'll see. Sometimes you live well enough alone. Okay. That little piece is gone now. Okay, I'm going to look internally for a moment. Here we go. Let's see if this is two piece or is it one piece. Searching, checking. Now we take the Endo Explorer and see if there's any movement to it. It's 
Good. Now you can see their wearing of the outer lip. I see, yeah. But the threads are intact, though. Threads are intact. All right. Let's try in our plastic component here. Now, if I were to measure <coughs> the length of this screw, the fracture that was removed, there it is. That would be too much, too long. So let's look at the other size. Looks like that's our baby right there. Okay, so let's just try this in. We don't need a sleeve on it. Looks like there's one already. Let's see if this goes in. It's all about hand tightening now. Okay, this is an impression coping. see if we got the right diameter. Hold on, folks. I'll be right back. I'm going to see if I get my calipers out. We'll check the diameter.